Uh, God opposes the proud. The higher power opposes the proud, mm -hmm. but gives grace to the humble. Yeah. Lifts up the humble. That's good, man. You should get in the Word of God, man. You should get in the Bible. Hey. Hi, have you ever been to church or anything like that? I used to go when I was younger. Yeah. Okay. But then I just found my own path in religion, spirituality. And after that, I've just been growing within myself. Man, you know, I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't think you found the real thing. No offense to your church or whatever. I, I don't think I don't think it got to the core enough, man. No, you, I'm not. I'm still a work in progress, but that's life. Yeah, it's a process. Amen. amen. Yeah. Man, what's your name? Kamari. Kamari James. God bless James. you, man. Um, is it is it possible I could reach reach out to you? I just want to send you some stuff. I think there's like there, on Instagram or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah if you want to give me your Instagram, I could just follow you on there. I, I just want to send you some 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 videos that I think. I think you will like a lot. Okay. I think it will get your, your... I think it will be encouraging to you. What's your Instagram? Oh, my, mine is... Um, uh, brother... Underscore, underscore, James. Brother James. And I look like a strange man right there. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, so you can just... just okay, you're following me. I'll just send you links. Right. I'll just send you links. All right, man. Well, nice well, God bless. Yeah. Sir, Have a good day, man. How are you? Good. You want to you grab a few more people? I popped in a new battery. Whatever you want to do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, where are you parked? I'm parked over at the post office. I mean, we still got like another... We still got like a quarter. We can go down here, yeah. Carroll Creek's down this way. Yeah. You wherever you want to go. I got like another hour we can record. Okay, we'll walk down this street and sure. then... Uh, it's looking busy. It looks like a good opportunity. I mean, it looks like, you know, grab some people. You'll be able to splice it up. Be a lot of content for you to work with. Yeah. Is, he, is he prison? Uh, he's probably doing community service is what it might look like, yeah. Not prison. If he was in prison, he wouldn't be out. It's a juvenile. Some... Well, he may, he's probably doing community service. That's what they make you do. They make you do 40 hours of community oh, oh, service. Oh, because he he had some kind of yeah yeah. They they it's called arrest. I, mean, I, I don't know. I'm guessing. That's right. No, I I remember now. I, I don't. Maybe he works for somebody, but it yeah. could be just community service. Yeah, yeah. You know? How are you, sir? Beautiful. Fantastic. I like I like photography. You want to see a picture? Yeah, sure. Do you want to show them a picture? Whoever wants to see. Okay. I have a dog. Well, actually, yeah. I made this salad yesterday. Oh, oh very I good, guess. very good. And then, then I'll show you my dog. I'm very good at capturing my dog's face. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then another yeah. one. And I also take pictures of the skies, too. And then every way that's a different You get any canvas. airplanes, any pictures of airplanes in the sky. I got that picture. Very nice. Nice. I like using the background. Absolutely. And, and then... Very good. Yeah, you got some photography skills. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You. Hey, you need prayer for anything? Could we pray for you about anything? If you want to, you can. Okay. Yes. Enjoying the day. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Thank you, Lord. Uh, God, I just pray that you bless this man's mind. You bless his heart. Bless his soul. Walk with him, God. Walk with him. Give him vision, Lord. Give him vision. Help him see. Help, help him see clearly. Yes, Lord. Thank you that you love us, God. Thank you that you love us. Yes, yes sir. I have always been a blessed man. I got a cut soul. But I'm, I'm blessed. Yeah, no, for yeah, for sure. It is a beautiful day. And the weather's not bad either. No, man, finally. It was rainy, but... Hey, it can only rain for so long, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, all right. God bless you, brother. That, that last, uh, the guy doing community service? Yeah. I'm telling you, that's going to be the most fruitful of the conversations. Nice.
Yeah, well, yeah. That's going to be fruitful. Going to reach out to him. Yeah, interesting. Man, you know what? The harvest is plenty, but the workers are few. Yes. I, I've heard that from you a time or two, and it's, uh, it's true every time you say it. Yeah. We were, uh, one, one thing we've been... Whoa! Ooh! Whoa. Here, Levi, come over here. Nothing hit me. Praise the Lord. Nothing hit me. I didn't get hit by nothing. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yeah, watch out. <laughs> All right, so the post office is down here, and yep. Car Carroll Creek's to the right. Is that right? It's about new legislation. Yes, that is correct. You will be post offices up here, and I actually parked over. I didn't park in the post office. I parked to the right, so we'll be. We were walking towards the post office, but we'll be walking a little bit past it. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't want to keep you if I, you know, if you're parked right over here. Actually, I could walk more, one more down. Okay. Where are you parked? I'm parked in the East St. Streets garage. Okay. Oh, yeah, so let me just talk with you about, um, just be ready at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I might. Right, yeah, if you want to pull someone over, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. more than ready. That camera is such a good. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I'll probably come down this way. You want okay. to just, yeah. just see what we will get? How are you? How they're driving down here. Oh, yeah. Not bad. We got some we got some footage out here. Should I have to walk too far here? Wherever you want to go, it's fine. Yeah. I mean, would you be up for an interview real quick? An interview about what? It's a good person test. Would you consider yourself <laughs> a good person? Uh, yes, okay. Uh, yeah, you okay? Oh, I, I, could, I could just hold it, yeah. That's all right, I'll hold it. The, uh, safety thing. Will I have to press it? Oh, no, no, I just... Okay, go ahead. just go back Shoot. and forth. So, yeah, so would you consider yourself a good person? Yes. Okay, you might have asked a few questions to see. Sure, go ahead. Um, let's see, how many, um, how many lies do you think you've told in your life? Two. two. You're not lying, are you? No. Just two? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, just two in your whole life? Yes. Okay. Do you remember what they were? 
Not really. Probably when I was in high school. So you have not lied since high school? No. Okay, okay. I'm always telling my kids I'd rather have the best truth than a worse lie. That's true. Yeah. That's absolutely true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd rather have a hard truth. Yep. Then, uh, then yep. you, you kiss me with a lie, as they say. So, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. So, um, yeah, let me think of, well, if you've lied even one time, okay. uh, would, that, would that make you a liar? Mm. Well, technically, yes. Okay. It would. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Now this is good. This is, I, you're the first person I've seen that has lied so little. Um, have you ever stolen anything before? Once. Wow, okay. In high school. So you, dumb, so you do some dumb things in high school. Yeah, yeah. And you know, if I stole $100 from you, mm -hmm. or $1, it would still be a crime. Yes. If I stole a hundred dollars from you one time, if I stole it from you a million times, either way it would still be a crime, right? Technically, yes, but there's always two sides to the coin. Okay. Yeah. So if somebody lies, what uh, are some, I'm sorry, somebody steals, what, what, is, what do you call a person who steals? You're being really technical, aren't you? So obviously the person that steals is a thief. However, there are conditions and circumstances that might negate them actually being thieves. Okay, okay. So in your situation and the span of your life, have you been a thief? As I said, that one time in high school, because I did a very dumb thing. Okay, okay, yeah, appreciate your honesty, thanks. Uh, you'll be amazed at what we hear out here, and uh, <laughs> you know, it probably would make you feel better. But, um, no, but it's important, right? Um, uh, have you ever taken God's name in vain? I'm not that religious a person, but I've been doing better about that, so, and, yeah, so, you know, you want to try to, instead of saying, oh my God, say, oh my gosh, you know, little things like that that do add up, but, you know, you grow up, and the time that you grew up, those things were said and didn't really have that effect, and now, now we're in this day and age, things, the perspective has just changed. Yeah, and I, I, I know it's a little awkward. I appreciate you sharing it. It's all going to end well, I think. <laughs> Um, do, do, do you love your mom? or? Unfortunately, you? both my parents have passed, but I unconditionally Sorry. loved my mom and dad. Again, I was brought up in a different era, and you just loved and respected your parents. Absolutely. No, no qualms about it. Yeah, we're, we're missing that today for sure. Uh, would you use your mom's name as a curse word? No, never. Yeah, of course. I mean, you love your mom. Uh, you wouldn't use a word to express disgust towards your mom. But w what we've all done is we've all, and I say you're not religious, but we've taken the God who made our mom and we used his name to express disgust. It uh, used to be a, a major crime, it was called blasphemy, mm -hmm. and it was punishable by death yes. in the olden days. In the olden days, yeah, yes. Yeah, it was that serious. Um, I understand, I all right, get it. So, so last one, we won't harp <laughs> on it. Um, have, yes. you, have you ever committed adultery? No. Now, um... And you're getting to a little source topic because I unexpectedly lost my husband after almost 40, 40 years of marriage. Oh, wow. Unexpectedly in 21 to a heart attack at 61. Oh, wow. I'm yeah. so sorry. So no, oh. no, neither of us. We were, well, again, very good. again, you're asking me, I am more, more mature. And so, at growing up, that was something that was a, a no-no too. Yeah, no, and I'm so sorry for your loss, and uh, so awesome to see you with a smile on your face today. It's a beautiful day. It is. Um, so there's a guy named Jesus who walked around, and he said, anyone who's even looked at somebody lustfully, it's like they've committed adultery in their heart. Uh, Jesus was getting to the root of things. It was all about the heart. So given that, don't want to embarrass you, but have you ever looked <laughs> lustfully at someone before, ever in your life? Oh my God! So I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
decide not to answer that question. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's that's a fine. a little too personal. That, no, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> well, every person I've interviewed has said yes to that. <laughs> well, that, that's and, their, that they can and say I've, whatever they want. And but I've my done that. I want to say, I'm sorry, that's yeah. too personal. So I'm, you know, I'm definitely not judging you. That's not. That's not even my place. That's not why I'm out here. It's for you to think about yourself. And uh, what I walk through just right now is four of what is known as the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. And it's called the Moral Law. And uh, you've, I think, admitted to me that you at least have lied, have stolen, um, have blasphemed, as that standard says. And we don't know about adultery. Now, if there's a God, right, and he were to judge you by that standard, do you think that you would be innocent or guilty? God is a forgiving God, so I would be innocent. Even if, uh, let's say that it was just based on that law, based on how well you did. Again, you have to do a case by case. And in my case, I would be forgiven. So to be forgiven means you had had to have done something wrong. So you're saying that you've done wrong. So can we stop now? No, no, no. <laughs> so more uncomfortable. Absolutely. And 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 <laughs> you, here's what I'm doing. If let's say I'm a doctor, right? And let's say that you have this terrible disease, but I have a cure. Uh, would if you're the doctor, would you show the X-rays or would you show the cure? As a doctor, you have to provide all the information. They will show the x-ray, because what if I say, I don't have it, I don't need a cure. What are you talking about? I'm perfectly healthy. If you're a smart doctor, you will show the x-rays so that the patient will uh -huh. see the seriousness right. and want to take the cure. Correct. Uh, God gave us the Ten Commandments to show that you and I, none of us have lived up to God's standard. There's something wrong. There's something wrong with the world. There's something wrong with us. And he does that so that we'll take the cure. Now let me just ask you, and I'll leave you to, with this. Do you know what God did so that you and I could be forgiven? So that we could be cured of this, this disease that we all have? Well, I don't have an answer for that. No. Well, if you never heard this before, I'm just letting you know it is my honor to share this with you. God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. and this is very important. He, he lived a perfect life. He's the only person that ever lived perfectly. He never lied. He never stole. He never lusted. He never blasphemed. He did everything perfect, and He did that so that He could give up His life, so that if, it would be like if you're standing in the court of law for a crime, say speeding tickets you can legally be let go of your crime if somebody pays for it you and I broke God's moral law Jesus paid the fine mm -hmm. he lived perfect and he offered his life and he rose from death to pay your fine so that you don't have to perish you don't have to die mm -hmm. but you could live forever that is the good news of the gospel does that at least make sense? Yes. Well, let me ask you this. Is, this. is that something that you would want? Is that something that you would desire at all? So again, I, I'm going to defer and not answer any more questions. This is, this is enough for me. No, okay? absolutely. Yeah, and I, you know, I hope it's something you at least think about. I will think about yeah. it. I have a wonderful colleague, and she... Yeah, you know, we'll we'll share these things with me, and I yeah. listen to her. So. I thank you so much You're for welcome. going through that and okay. taking the time. Bye -bye. God bless you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Levi, we got some footage. Uh, I'll probably um, I'll probably let you go here. Okay. Are you walking back that way? Um, I am walking back that way. All right. Where are you walking? I'm walking this way. Walking this way. Okay. Yeah. All right, you not a problem. You can follow me all the way back if you want to. Are you walking near the post office? I'm, I'm by the garage down here. Oh, okay.
Oh, oh yeah, you, somebody, you did turn it off. I wonder how long that's I been. I wonder when, I know. Well, yeah, that I wonder. Good. That was some that good was footage. Crazy. I mean, I, I don't know if it was... Wow. I wonder when you did, did you, so when you said, um, no, I got all that, I mean, that's why I said, when I said, you, you, I mean, you know that when I said, well, I'm not recording, that was my key to tell you that I am recording, <laughs> you know? Yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not, don't, I'm not recording, nothing's being, definitely recording there. that part. That's a, that's a normal you, occurrence. You were about to be assaulted, so I was like, I definitely, no, no I wasn't going to be. You, don't you know so? what, you know what that is? What that's is that? called demonic oh, possession. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And you have the authority. People have to want it, though. But you have the authority mm -hmm. to cast out demons. So I knew. I knew that was just a demon talking. Yeah. You parking here? Uh, yep. Yeah. Right. No, that that I've been through it a million times. That was. Yep. There was no fear. He didn't have a weapon on him, did he? Uh, but you didn't know. Weapon? The only thing I would be freaked out is if the guy had a weapon. And that you never know. Whether he did or not, uh, you just speak, you speak to that spirit that's yeah. inside of Because that's all that it is. It's, he's not being rational. Right. It's a spiritual. So you can see, you can see in his eyes, I was saying, God loves you. Mm -hmm. God come in the name of Jesus. Yeah. God loves you. That's why I, I hope that mic didn't cut out like. Maybe cut out at the end, maybe, I don't know. I hope we got most of that interaction. That was crazy. Uh, I think I'm one more guy. Oh, is that what you said? Yeah. I couldn't hear you. I couldn't hear anything you were saying. That's what that's the theme that said. Who sent you? That's what they said, really? That's the read in the Bible. That's exactly the words. Did they? Is that what they said? I, I actually didn't know that. Yeah. And sometimes if you ask for their name. Somebody, I literally, a person will say something crazy. We are, we are legion. We are life playing it for, and you think it's just drugs? Yeah, but look in the Bible, man. There's so, that's just how demon, demon possessed people come. Yeah. But they will flee. They will flee if you start speaking, if you start claiming the authority of Jesus. Like they did. Yeah, they did. They all got up and ran. Yeah. Actually, all of them did. When I started going, Jesus loves you. Yeah, so free this man right now in Jesus' name. They, they either want it or they run. 